Just because you don't like to exercise, it doesn't mean that you don't do it. Just make the decision that you would rather exercise regularly and eat a plant-based whole food diet for the rest of your life than to become a sick and diseased hospital patient. I mean, which would you rather do? Take a half hour, hour a day, exercise five, seven days a week, eat plant-based whole foods, or become so sick, feel so terrible physically, mentally, psychologically, and emotionally that you have to check yourself into the hospital with diseases riddled with lifestyle diseases and live and die that way. Which would you rather have? There's a dozen things I would rather do <laughs> than exercise, truly. But being a sick hospital patient, having lifestyle diseases, is not one of those dozens of things that I'd rather do than exercise. And truth be told, I've found that when I really put some care into the warm-up and I ease into the workout that way with a warm-up, and I get the blood flowing and the oxygen flowing, I actually get into my workouts and I start enjoying them. It's just getting started for me that has been the hump. But once I get started and I get the blood flowing and things like that, then it, the workout just becomes this, it, it becomes almost bliss-like. It's pretty cool. And then by the time I'm done with the workout, and you probably know exactly what I'm talking about, maybe you just need to be reminded. But when I'm done with the workout, I just feel so good. And I'm like, I am so glad that I worked out today. And I get to eat more calories because of that. That's pretty cool. I work out hard so I can eat more food. <laughs> it's one of the reasons. And then what happens when we don't work out when we know that we should? We regret it. And that starts to chip away at our feelings of self-worth. So not working out and not eating a plant-based whole food diet, in my opinion, isn't worth what the consequences will inevitably be. You can live and die broke, or you can live and die in wealth, and I'm talking from a health perspective. And you know what? From Even from a financial perspective, if you got the health, the endurance, the breath, the vitality, and all those things, you're going to have enough money to go after your dreams, and if you need money to make your dreams come true because that's the currency we trade on, no matter what, there's always going to be a currency that we trade on, you're going to need lots of money. So. Being healthy open up, opens up opportunities to get wealthy both physically and financially. Opportunities that just don't seem to be there. If you're not healthy and you're not nourishing your mind and your body and your spirit, all three simultaneously. So I want you guys and gals out there to start making that judgment. Maybe you just need to hear it in this particular perspective. It doesn't matter if you enjoy working out or not, or if you enjoy eating a plant-based whole food diet or not. Just make that judgment that it's better than being a sick, diseased hospital patient like most people inevitably become who do not exercise regularly and eat a plant-based whole food diet. And you will live a beautiful, wonderfully, abundantly healthy life in every way possible. People that are broke are typically broke in every aspect of their lives. Health, wealth, physical, financial, emotional, psychological, everywhere. And you want to be healthy and wealthy in every aspect of your life. Working out most days of the week and eating a plant-based whole food diet is at the center of all of that. It truly is. We feel how we eat. <laughs> if you eat badly, you feel it. If you eat great, you feel it. And it has a domino effect over every area of your life. And not just yours, but people around you too. You send out vibrations that people pick up. It emotes from you. People learn from your behaviors. If you have kids, they're going to model after you. So it's not about you. It's not all about you. It's also about other people in your lives that you're going to affect. You're going to impact either negatively or positively. So if that helps you with your own motivation to do the right thing every day with your health and your wellness, then put that at the forefront of your brain. That what you do, everything you do and what you say has an impact on other people's lives for the negative or the positive. 
And if you're healthy and you're taken care and you're transparent about all that stuff, then you can only positively affect people. And that's a really cool deal right there. I've talked enough in this video. I hope that it resonated and it made a lot of sense with you. And I hope that you continue your lifestyle change for a better life. Because in the end, we just want to live a really good life and help as many people as we possibly can. That's a good life.